Today we are gonna make pizza pinwheels, which is another recipe from Carefree Keto. And all you need to make it is a low carb tortilla, some cream cheese, which I pre-softened, so it's easier to spread. And I need something to spread it with. All right. So we're just gonna spread the cream cheese on the tortilla like this. And guys, I'm using a, a box to elevate this so that I don't have to be so far away and I'll be able to read comments. All right, so we're spreading the cream cheese. If you really don't want your cream cheese to be soggy, kind of like this is, you can just leave it out for a while and let it soften on its own. What's up, Mac? Hey, what's up, Sheila? Okay, I think we're good now. All right, so cream cheese. This is the seasoning we're using, the pizza seasoning from Trader Joe's. What's up, Casey? Received your book yesterday, thank you. Hey, thank you. Just bought your book. Woohoo, hey, thank you, Heather. Thank you guys so much. All right, this is the Trader Joe's pizza seasoning. I've never used it before. Have we used this? I don't think so. Yeah, it was, it, the seal was broken, so. So yeah. Maybe I used it and forgot, or we bought like an open one. Mozzarella. And we're gonna go, the book does not include sausage, but I had some sausage crumbles, so we're gonna add them too. Your lives are so early now, I'm always working when you're on, except days off like today. I'm sorry, Julie. It's hard now with, with like our schedule, I try to take Sophia on a walk and, or go running in the jogging stroller around the time that I used to go live. Otherwise, it would be dark outside, so. I'm sorry. All right, guys, we're adding some pepperoni. And once we get these, we're just gonna roll it up. And I'm gonna need a Sarah's head knife. Man, it is so hot in here. I'm like sweating like crazy. All right, and now we're just rolling it like this. And whatever pops out, I think is fine. Like that's okay. We can just remove it. All right. Now we're gonna get this Sarah Ted knife. I stopped opening the package that is your book for this. Oh my God, you got your book. Hey, let's get it. Guys, I made this today. It's the Double Down from KFC. I made a copycat of it. I'm gonna be posting that soon. I'm really excited for that one. And you can also, listen, you can cook this before you slice it. The only problem with that method is you're not gonna get a crispy, like around the edge vibe. It's just gonna be crispy on these two ends. So if you want it to be like, if you want them all to be super crispy, the key is to cut it before you air fry it. And then I'm gonna dip them in some melted butter like this. And add them to the air fryer. Oh, I did not cut these all the way, hold on. Need to know more about the KFC dish. It's it's something I've been doing for a while, like before keto. I, I would use chicken as the bun for a burger. Um, that's basically what it is. It just has provolone and bacon inside of it. It's just two pork rind crusted chicken patties. All right, I've got to go through and recut these because some of them are stuck. Here we go. Uh, the brand of tortilla is Extreme Wellness. We actually started watching a new show last night called, what's it called? 
breathe or something, keep breathing. It's about some girl who's in a plane crash. And I'm so happy we got a new show because we just finished The Last of Us. And uh, I don't want to be divisive about the ending, but I wasn't. Don't say yeah. anything. Yeah. I won't share my opinion on the ending because I don't want to give any spoilers. All right, guys. So took it out, put it in the air fryer. And once they get crispy, we're going to eat. And I'll show you guys my little setup. Yeah, don't give any spoilers, guys, but half the people seem to have loved it, half didn't, so that's all I'll say. Uh, maybe, Jewel. Maybe, like, once everyone has seen it. I just don't want to share it and talk about it because I'm sure a lot of people haven't watched it yet, the last episode. So, this is what I was doing. Usually, when I go live, I have to... You guys wouldn't see what I was doing if I was operating on the actual island. So, I had this salad spinner box with a, a cutting board on it. That way, you could, like, see more of what I'm doing. Anyway, now we're just gonna wait. What is your workout routine? So I lift weights like three or four times a week. I go running sometimes five times a week. Lately it's been like twice a week. I feel guilty when I go running because Anna says I can go running, but I just feel like, when does she get to go running, you know? So I just lift weights mostly. I. I rarely go running, and ever since my birthday, I really only go running if I take Sophia in the running stroller. Um, but she just doesn't like being in that thing for more than 30 minutes. So that's kind of altered my workout routine. If everything in my life worked out where, like if, uh, like if it was just a perfect day every day, I would love to work out lift weights three days a week and go running three days a week. I think that would, I really enjoy running, but it's just easier to lift weights because I don't have to commit to being outside for an hour. I can just like go into the garage, do a set, uh, record a recipe video, do another set, you know, like I can do it throughout the work day. So that's why I lift weights more often now. But I think that my whole philosophy, I talk about this in the book as well, so Carefree Keto isn't just a recipe book. It also has a lot of written information. It's like half written information. And uh, one of the points I talk about in the book is like, when I first started exercising, I spent my whole life as a sedentary person. I'm not one of these influencers who was like an athlete in high school and then was an athlete in college. And then it's just easy for me to stay fit today. I'm the opposite of that. I, I was very out of shape my whole life. I never excelled at anything. I, my fitness was always terrible. And then when I was like 20, I started trying to start exercising. And my first run ever, it was like nine minutes or something. And then on the treadmill. And then the next day it was 10. And then it was like 11. And then the gym was closed. So I had to go running outside. And then I ran for a whole 20 minutes. But I started out very small and running was the first type of exercise I really fell in love with. Once you go running outside in a park, if it's springtime or summertime, it's so pretty. It's, it's a nice experience if you find a good park. And that's kind of what happened to me where I was like, I really enjoy this. And then I started to enjoy lifting weights. And then I, I realized I actually liked running better and I've just been like back and forth between which one do I like better. But the key to exercise, if you wanna know my routine or what you should do, is just pick something that you know you can stick to. So whatever you enjoy, if that's just going for a walk every day, if that's like, um, you know, getting on the elliptical, just do the thing you can stick to. It does not matter what's optimal. It does not matter what produces the most weight loss because if I were to tell you, oh, here's this 
optimal workout routine you have to stick to that professional athletes follow, the average person watching this is not even going to make it through the first five minutes. So don't worry about the perfect workout routine. Worry about what can I stick to. And once you've stuck to that for a while, you can gradually make improvements to it. But you've just got to get in the habit of moving your body. That is the number one key. Do you listen to music or podcasts while you run? Yes, uh, audiobooks too. I get really, I get really bored. Like I have music playing all day. When I make my cooking videos, the reason I don't include the chopping sounds or like the, the cracking the egg sound is because I'm just listening to music all the time. If I want to eat normal low carb, how many carbs a day? You don't generally want to go over 25 net carbs a day if you're doing keto. But if you're doing low carb, you could go up to 100 carbs a day and still be considered low carb because the average American is eating like 300. Ooh, these pinwheels, guys. They're starting to look really good. They're almost done. Yeah, it, there really is no set carb amount if you're just doing a general low carb diet. All right, guys, we're gonna take them out. What is the temp and time for air fryer? Uh, it has been 400 for six minutes. So I would say five to 10 minutes. When will the wedding be? Uh, that is TBD, it's a surprise. What are you making cinnamon rolls? You can do this recipe and make cinnamon rolls if you'd use cream cheese, sweetener, cinnamon, but I'm doing pizza pinwheels. All right, let's take them out. I'm actually really excited about them because I added the sausage. I need a pair of thongs. Uh-oh. Oh, good oh, there. All right, guys. Check it out. Oh my goodness. I'm actually so glad that I added sausage. It smells amazing. And there you have it, pizza pinwheels. That was so easy. This is a book from Carefree Keto, by the way. A recipe from Carefree Keto. Mm. I can't wait to eat these. They have to cool for a second. Let's take a picture first. You can smell them through the phone. I wouldn't be surprised. They look crazy delicious. All right. Camera. This one is like burnt, but it looks so good. But not on camera. It looks too burnt on camera. All right, this is fine. Yummy, yummy. All right, guys, let's try it. Needs green chili. Really? Oh, like green peppers? Yeah, is that what you mean? Or like green bell peppers? Mm. Mm. Oh my God. We got this round cutting board at Target. We also have a black one. This is the best thing I've made on a live in so long, guys. Mm. 
I was gonna grab marinara sauce. I'm telling you, dip it in marinara if you want, but it is just amazing how it is. Like, wow. Let's try like one of these big ones. There's This one is giant. The ingredients are just low carb tortilla, cream cheese, mozzarella, pepperoni, and sausage. And we use Trader Joe's pizza seasoning. Oh my God. Oh my God. This one is in the book. Mm. All right, you guys, I gotta get off here. I can't have all these. I had one of these. I do track my macros and I had one of these and this is like 3000 calories. Not literally, but may as well be. So I can really only have like one more of these. Because I want to save room for my dinner tonight, which will probably just be blackened tenders and a bowl of like peas, green beans, and carrots. All right, guys. I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow.